Right, and welcome back. Welcome back. How are we doing? Playing quickly, isn't it? Listen to that peacefulness. What can I say? So, there we go. So, hope everyone out there who's watching this, participating in this situation here on sunny YouTube and here, here in slightly overcast but mildly windy uh, but pleasant England. So, welcome. So, what are we doing? This is the question. He's got veg out. He's got garlic out. He's got some anchovies out. I have. I've got to get something else out as well. So, here we go. Prepare to be amazed. As per usual. On this uh, tiny channel. I was actually going to change the name of, the, uh, of this uh, uh, food production videos and call it Sergeant's Tiny Kitchen. But, there we go. So what are we doing? Well, as you can see, as you can see, some puff pastry and some anchovies. So what are we doing? Right, we're going to be doing a, the anchovies can just go there for a bit. We're going to be doing a uh, baked vegetable tart um, with goat's cheese, mozzarella and feta. And it's going to be stuffed crust with cheddar cheese with a uh, garlic and herb Philadelphia base on it um, ish right because we're going to be doing putting all this stuff on the bottom of the puff pastry so it won't be cooked so we if we, we can't overload it too much which suits me fine that suits my style it's going to be rustic it's going to be country hence the new chopping board uh, and this was given to me by my nan, so I oh, thank you for that nan, thanks very much, really appreciate that. So, that's what we're doing. So we've got aubergine, white onion, red onion, tomato, tender stem broccoli, right? So, the first thing we're going to do is we've got to roast off the veg. This, is, comes, this comes a bit later. So... We're going to roast off the veg. I'm just going to use some oregano and garlic oil. Smash that in there for a little bit. And uh, we're just going to chuck. We're not, mm, let's see, I've got to think how big the thing is going to be. And I, I can't just chuck the veg in. I want it all roughly to be the same sort of size. So. Right, I'm going to tend to this broccoli and you can go and uh, see uh, Magic Hands. And that's also another little tiny tipping knife. If you've ever run out of engine oil, don't fill it up with plain flour. It doesn't work, trust me. Anyway, getting back to what we're doing. Right, I've cut up the uh, tender stem. Now, we're just going to chuck this in. This is all going to shrink down. So I'm hoping that I haven't done too much. Now, with the uh, aubergine, look, I've never used an aubergine before, so I don't, I don't really know what to do, to be honest. I'm going to do it, I suppose, in fairly thickish chunks. I don't... This is the first time I've ever used uh, an aubergine before, so I'm just going to do it like that, I suppose. We'll do, oh, we'll do it into little cubes. Fuck it. We'll, 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 go, we'll go cubes, so I'll put a bit of aubergine in now. So all we're doing at the moment is we're roasting off the veg. Now, we've got to do that because if we don't roast off the veg, um, and we just chat, say we we got the dish to put the uh, puff pastry in, we chuck all this in 
and then we roast it off in the oven, this won't be cooked. So now with the red onion, uh, I'm just going to do little petals really, like that. Let's put it on there so we can see what we're doing. So I'm just going to do petals like that, you know, just break them up. It's all the winner. It's all going to be my dinner. That's the thing about winner winner. It just ends up being my dinner, mate. So there you go. Same with the white onion as well. I'm going to whack in a bit of white onion. Why not? Why not? You know. tomatoes I'm gonna do them I'm gonna do, do I need to do them separate? I was gonna do them separate but I don't think I do. I mean I'm hoping that hmm, I think this roasting dish is not gonna be quite big enough. So luckily I've got a bigger one so we'll use that instead. I'll just wash that up that's that's about that's that's fucking better. Right, um, we'll do it quarterly, we'll do it like that. There we go. There we are, and I think that already looks amazing, that already looks yummy. I ain't done nothing to it yet, so so there we go. I mean, you know, like I said, when the master is in action, we're on to a winner. So yeah, so we're doing a vegetable tart um, and or a savoury savoury vegetable tart. Oregano and garlic oil. Whiz that in. Give it a good squirt in. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon. Uh, no, I'm not actually. No, I'll leave that. I'm going to do. What's I've got? Stand there. Uh, Italian seasoning. We'll do Italian seasoning instead. So, a little bit of this. Just a tiny bit. Nothing too much. Don't go mental with things like this. Right? Gotta be careful. Can't overdo it. You can always put it in, you can't take it out. But a bit of sea salt, I'll give it a bit of a season, a bit of black pepper. Right. Let's mix all that up. Got an escapee there, no escapees allowed. So, yeah, it's a nice Saturday uh, mid ish afternoon here in uh, sunny England. And I uh, hope everyone's doing okay. And having a nice time. Right. Now I've got the oven on already. So that's all the veg. That's the veg we're using. Alright. So that's going to come out pretty nice, hopefully. As fingers crossed. Well, I've got the oven on about 160. I'm going to turn it up, bump it up to about 180. It's going in mid mid shelf, um, and then hopefully, in literally a few seconds, uh, that will be done because it's uh, magic hands, isn't it? Woo! And that's basically what happens when you try to ride a motorbike with no front wheel. You will just crash and come off, and it's as simple as that. I try to tell her. I try to sell all of them. It doesn't matter, and that's what happens. So, anyway, what are we doing? Right, okay. So, the veg is done. So let's have a little look at that. Let's have a little look at that. Look at that. Lovely, herby, roasted veg. Seasoned. We could all have a little, a little examination of that. Look at that. 
looks nice. So what I'm going to do, because we need this uh, tray to do the actual uh, tarting. So, we're going to go for a bit of a delicate operation, and this is called um, Operation Get the Veg out of the tray in at least one piece and uh, hope we don't fuck it up. No. So here we go. So we're just gonna get all this out. All that. Look at that stuff. That is all goodness. Look at the broccoli. Look at the tomatoes. Saying yummy, this could be quite an epic one, folks. I mean, I don't know. Um, see, with my groovy new editing skills of literally pressing pause, uh, which is fine, I don't mind doing that, but the phone is not plugged into anything, so I have no idea how much battery life is left on the phone. Right, now, that's that. Now I'm not going to roast that. I'm going to put the oven back on, up to about 220, because what we're going to do, uh, we'll just leave that there. So that's the veg, we'll just leave that to cool down a little bit. Right, so I'm going to use the, uh, we've got juices in here, or some juices anyway. So what I'm going to do is we need to do uh, croutons because we're doing a Caesar salad, right? So we're doing a puff pastry, a vegetable puff pastry tart and a Caesar salad. The chicken for the Caesar salad is already cooked. I've done it this morning. That's fine. But now we've got to do the croutons, right? So I've got in crouton land here, We've got a bowl of cut up breadcrumbs, as we can see. Uh, I'm going to use my thyme and rosemary and garlic oil and a teaspoon of oregano. So, first of all, I'm going to put in, I want this to be up fucking hot as you like. So, Let's see what happens. Let's, let's get it. Now I'm going to have to leave it for a little bit. Right, now. Oh, no poo. Bloody arseholes. Right. So, a teaspoon of oregano, I reckon. Should be fine. That plenty. It's probably too much. I don't know. I don't know. My old man's a dustman. I've got no idea. Right. I don't know if that's enough oil on there. Probably ain't. Let's not overdo it. All right, let's let all that soak in. Give it a little bit of a season. Sod it. Add a bit of black pepper. Fuck it. Why not? Why not indeed? Right. So that's the croutons. I mean, like I said, I watch them at work and that, and I pick bits up. And, you know, all that sort of business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whack the croutons in here. Just gonna lay them out a little bit, let's not go too mental. Let's get them all mixed up in there with them vegetable juices as well. So that'll be quite mad. Let's Let's get them concentrated-ish. So we'll spread them out, but nothing, you know, not nothing too mental. Right, and okay. Right, now I'm going to whack them in the oven. Because, um, like I said, while the oven's on, we might as well do the croutons now. They can sit for whenever, it doesn't matter. They're only going into a salad, right? So, the salad is just served with this paste. Uh, because the tarts basically veggie 
I do want some meat and the meat is going to come in the form of the Caesar salad with the chicken and the entries which we've got anyway which we've got it just makes sense so right I'm going to whack them in they're on about 220 I've got to keep a very close eye on them and we will see you I'm going to call that part one basically um, we'll have a little quick whiz up a little uh, recap of what we've actually done so we've roasted off the veg right we have uh, made the croutons they're maize I think in the next video it's going to be doing make, laying the tart getting all the uh, pastry ready um, don't forget we're doing a stuffed crust on this tart with cheddar cheese right so we'll have to grate that up. All the cheese is going to have to be start to be done and the dish will start to hopefully take shape. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. That is the end of part one and this is going to be a fucking winner winner veggie tart dinner. Who'd have guessed it?